Hi, I'm Bing Yanliu from Peking University. I'm going to talk about our recent work, PFA, Privacy Preserving Federate Adaptation for Effective Model Personalization. Federate learning has been proposed and drawn great attention due to its capability to collaboratively train a shared global model and its decentralized data settings. In recent years, there have been extensive applications for deploying FL in practice, such as law status prediction, health situation assessment, and the next world prediction. Besides, the number of FL frameworks and research papers are rising at a dramatic speed. A typical method to implement federated learning is federated averaging, which generates a global model by averaging the local parameters uploaded from each client. During the process, we do not exchange the sensitive raw data in each client and thus protect user privacy. However, federated learning is not the end. In other words, it may not be the optical uh, solution for each client since the data distribution of clients is inherently non id As shown in the finger, we can observe two things. The first one is that different users own the different uh, data distributions. The second one is that a global federated model is not appropriate to be deployed for all of the users. Under this condition, uh, each client should own a personalized model rather than a global shared model in order to better face its distinctive data distribution. Fortunately, the research community has noticed the data heterogeneity issue and uh, Personalization have been proposed to address the problem. The main scheme of personalization is local adaptation, where the federated model is further adapted by fine tuning, uh, multitask learning, or knowledge distillation with the data in each client end. Also, such methods can facilitate personalization to some extent. They have a significant drawback. The, personal, the personalization process is restricted to a single device, which may introduce some bias or overfitting problem since data in a device is extremely limited. In our work, we propose federated adaptation, which is defined as adapting the federated model in a federated manner to achieve better personalization results. As shown in the finger, federated adaptation uh, attempts to use the client with similar distribution to collaboratively adapt the federated model rather than just uh, adapting it with the data in a single device. Our intuition is that in the FL process, there may exist many other clients that own a similar data distribution to a certain client. If this client can be aggregated and benefit from each other, the performance will definitely outperform the local adaptation schemes because more available data are utilized to personalize the federated model, uh, mitigating the bias or overfitting problem as well as extending the useful knowledge. When compared to the traditional federated learning, federated adaptation has the following differences. The first uh, is that the adaptation objective is a federated training model, which means that uh, an FL process should be conducted first before the adaptation begins. Uh, second, instead of using the whole clients or randomly sending them uh, from uh, as a traditional FL does, in federated ad adaptation, the federated clients must be selective in order to guarantee the distribution matching. In order to accomplish federated adaptation, one key challenge is that the raw data in each client cannot be outsourced due to privacy concerns. We propose PFA, a prototype framework for achieving personalization uh, while privacy preserving federated adaptation. The key idea behind PFA is that we can leverage the sparsity property of neural networks to generate a privacy-preserving representation, which can then be used to replace the raw data for class grouping during the adaptation process. 
Hair sparsity is defined as the ratio for the number of zero elements in a metric. As shown in the finger, there are nine zero elements out of 16 elements in the metric. And thus the sparsity is 56.25%. Uh, achieving federated adaptation is not trivial. There are at least three challenges that need to be effectively addressed. First, uh, how to ensure user privacy in federated adaptation. In other words, the raw data in clients cannot be transferred or inferred during the whole process. Second, how to efficiently distinguish clients with different data distributions. There might be a huge number of clients which pose a high demand for an efficient method to accomplish the goal. Finally, how to accurately and effectively identify and schedule the federated, federated clients. It is crucial to determine which clients should be aggregated and how they can contribute to each other. We design and develop PFA, a framework to achieve personalization in a federated manner. The finger depicts the essential modules of the workflow of in PFA. Specifically, we introduced the three modules to respectively address the aforementioned three challenges. The first one is the PFE, a privacy preserving feature extraction module, which takes advantage of the feature map sparsity to represent the dis distribution property of clients. This module only uses the federated model to conduct a feedforward process without introducing much computation cost or complex optimization. The generated sparsity vectors are then uploaded to the server end. The second one is FSC, a feature similarity comparison module, which employs uh, uh, Euclidean uh, distance to measure the similarity between the extracted sparsity vectors in order to generate a similarity metric that can denote the client's similarity degree. Besides, we further designed a one client related similarity vector to form the metric so as to achieve efficiency. Finally, we designed the CSM, a client uh, scheduling module which partitions the clients into different groups in terms of the uh, similarity metric generated by FSC and uh, implements adaptation in a group-wise manner. Concretely, each client needs to upload its corresponding local training model and uh, the server selectively groups these modules, models and uh, aggregates them by the fed average algorithm. In this way, each group will finally share the uh, adapted model and this local federated model can be considered as a personalization result. Next, we introduce our experimental evaluation. We use two public data sites, Silverton and Office Home, to respectively simulate two real-world scenarios, class imbalance and background differences. Here, the class imbalance means that the statistical information of the data in each client may be extremely different. The background differences simulate the situation where the object is identical, where the background is different. We evaluate the proposed uh, approach on two widely used uh, model architectures, VGNet and uh, MobileNet V2. For the implementation, we simulate and uh, operate our experiment in a powerful server and uh, read the code in Python with PyTorch framework. We compare the FAR baseline and the other three personalization methods to our PFA. Our evaluation is driven by four research questions. We will interpret each of them in the following slides. And the first is the overall re results. Given a federated model, we test its accuracy as the baseline and uh, conduct personalization using four methods. The detailed results of each class are shown in the table. We can observe that uh, 19 out of 20 clients uh, gain more benefit from the proposed approach compared to the baseline and other personalization methods. Notably, 
for client 15, PFA exceeds other methods by 8.34%, uh, bringing a significantly positive effect to the user experience. In addition, we also test the domain performance on the Office Home dataset. As shown in the table, the average improvement is over 2% on both models, which confirms the effectiveness of the proposed approach. We further test the performance on CFR10 and the communication cost on our uploaded sparsity. Obviously, both of the two aspects demonstrate the superiority of PFA. Uh, for RQ2, we test the effectiveness of our sparsity-based uh, representation. Specifically, we evaluate this representation by comparing uh, three policies, federated learning, random class selection, and our sparsity-based uh, class selection. Here, we use the MobileNet v2 on Office Home as an example, and uh, each policy is implemented based on the setting. The detailed accuracy results are summarized in the table. From the table, we can clearly see that our sparsity-based selection policy performs the best for the all 20 clients by a large margin. On average, the accuracy improvement is 7.52% and 8.1% for federated learning and random selection, respectively which validates the effective of the extracted sparsity vectors. For RQ3, we analyze whether the sparsity-based representation can pr protect user privacy. Concretely, we explore if the spar sparsity vector can be inverted to uh, generate the original image using an existing uh, attack strategy. We illustrate the results in this finger. Four properties are utilized to implement the inversion attack at different locations. From the finger, we can observe that attackers fail to inspect any features and the inverted image is just like noises, significantly ensuring user privacy. For RQ4, we explore the influence on different extraction strategies. Specifically, we first select eight clients from the simulated office home dataset, and every two client uh, comes from the same distribution. The strategy is reflected by the value location and the number of picked channels. As shown in the finger, extracting more channels from shadow layers would significantly benefit the final distinguishment. In conclusion, our work makes three contributions. First, we propose the idea of federate adaptation, which extends existing personalization techniques restricted in a single device. Second, we design and implement a framework named PFA to accomplish federate adaptation in a privacy-preserving manner. Finally, experience on our simulated dataset and clients demonstrate the effective of PFA, outperforming other personalization methods while ensuring privacy. We will release our code at the following link. Thanks for attention.